Hi, I'm Chris Mencor with Kimray. Today I'm going to explain how to attach your linkage rod to your float operated trunnion and your lever operated dump valve. When you mount your linkage rod into your lever bar, you want to make sure you're as close to the trunnion as possible. This will allow for maximum closing force. Quite often pe people think further out will actually give them more force, but it does not. It's the opposite. On the lever bar, on the dump valve, you do actually want to be as far out as possible. This will give you the maximum amount of closing force. Before you go into operation, you want to make sure that this compression nut has been tightened properly. You just want to snug it. You do not want to over tighten it or else it'll create a restriction on the movement and it could cause you to need more force from your float to operate the system. The other style of packing is just an O-ring. There is no adjustment necessary for this one. When you install your lever operated dump valve, you want to make sure that both levers are lined up and not offset from each other. What I mean is quite often we see the dump valve for too far out and this causes your linkage rod to be at an angle which results in losing closing force from your float. You want this to be as vertical as possible, perpendicular to your lever arm. You will want to insert your linkage rod into your lever on your dump valve. We'll tighten that up. You're going to want to pull up on the valve as far as you can. This will ensure that it's closed. You want to lift your float off of the bottom of your weld neck and you're going to tighten it down. When you let it go, you want to make sure that you don't hear it hit the bottom of the weld neck. This will ensure you have maximum closing force to your valve. If you do hear it hit the weld neck, you run the risk of the valve not having enough force to close. It could possibly cause it to leak by and do premature damage to the valve seating area. On a final note, it is very important to always size your valve based on your operating pressures and your flowing conditions. You can then determine what size float and float arm length is required to operate it correctly. We can assist you with this at any of our authorized distributors or by visiting kimray.com. Thank you.